Hi, I'm Travis Elliott, and today me and Jacob are going to show you how to set up Zigbee devices. Zigbee devices are relatively easy to set up. Please just follow exactly what we show, and you shouldn't have any problems. It's really pretty straightforward, and as long as you just take your devices right out of the box, like I'm going to do here, and follow these simple instructions, you'll have your Zigbee devices up and going in no time. Probably 15 minutes, you know. It's really nothing to it. So first thing, I've got my box of parts here that I just got from National Control Devices. I've got a modem. This is really important. Don't order a Zigbee controller without a modem. Otherwise you're going to have a relay controller that you can't connect to. Um, it'd be like not having a USB cord, so it just wouldn't work. So there's our modem, which has our little Zigbee module in it. And here's our relay controller. This happens to be a 8 channel 5 amp relay controller with a UXP expansion port. Really nice little controller here. So, and I got the high power module with external antenna. You'll want to make sure if you order a controller with external antenna make sure you get that external antenna put on there whenever you're setting up because even if they're real close to each other sometimes without that antenna they can have problems communicating so if you have an external antenna be sure and attach it to any module you have next thing I've got here is a power supply and a USB cord okay so I'm just gonna take my power supply here and get it plugged into my outlet there we go this box out of the way all right so that's ready there now i'm going to connect my modem here with my usb cable i'm just going to connect that to a usb port on my computer pretty standard stuff and my usb light comes on solid that means that it's good to go. And then I'm going to take my power adapter here and I'm going to plug it into my relay controller. When you power this up, you should have this first light in the LED bank come on. Also make sure on the jumper settings, there's a jumper on your controller that says program run. Make sure that's in the run mode for this setup. Um, most of the other jumpers won't really matter right now. You know, we'll get into that later. But just make sure your jumper's in run mode there. Usually they come out like that, but just double check to be sure. All right, and as far as hardware setup goes, that's about it. One thing I recommend if you have an external antenna, give this thing just a little bit of distance from your modem. Because if they're too close together, the signals can be too strong and they can have trouble communicating so give them a little bit of distance you know nothing ridiculous with Zigbee this is probably fine okay so I'm gonna turn it over to Jacob now and he's gonna show you how to get the virtual COM port driver installed get some test software installed and then when we come back here we'll go ahead and turn some relays on and off so over to Jacob Hi, I'm Jacob. I'm going to show you the software portion of your Zigbee setup. The first thing you want to do is go to any one of our Zigbee Relay Controller product pages and under the resources section you'll see download USB drivers. Go there and you'll be redirected to FTDI chip. And from here you want to download the latest driver version that is supported by your operating system. So I've got Windows XP so I can use this one. Let's save file. And once the file is completed downloading you want to open it and extract. I'm just going to extract mine onto the desktop. You can extract yours wherever you want. All right now you want to look in the folder and here is the driver information that you'll be using. So now what you want to do is go down to the start menu, control panel. You want to be in the classic view and go to your device manager. And from here you should see a USB serial port. 
under other devices. You want to right click, properties, reinstall driver, browse my computer for driver software, browse, and select that folder you just created. Select OK and next. Now this may take a minute so I'm going to skip ahead in the video. Alright, and once it's completed installing, you should get a confirmation screen and you'll want to close that. Close this. Alright, and here is your relay controller. Uh, it'll be called a USB serial port and right next to it will be the COM port it's using. That's important, so write down that COM port. All right, we'll close out of this control panel. And now we we'll want to go back to controlanything.com. And from the product pages, you'll see this download software link under the resources. Select that. Save file. All right, and once this file is completed downloading, you want to open it. All right, and open the file inside of that. Select I agree and install. All right, now close out of this and your downloads. All right, now what you'll need to do is go down to the start menu, all programs, NCD Pro XR, and open the Pro XR application. And from here you want to make sure you have the COM port that's attached to your relay controller selected. And if you are using a Zigbee Pro XR relay controller, you want to choose this option. If you're using a one or two channel Zigbee relay controller, you choose this option. I'm using a Pro XR controller, so I'll do that. Select OK. And hit refresh. Alright, my relay controller showed up. Um, if you're having problems with your relay controller not showing up, if you're not finding your relay controller, um, it could be either that the relay controller is too far away from the modem or that the relay controller is actually too close to the modem. If it's too close, the signal can be too strong and the modem won't be able to communicate with the relay controller. All right, once you find it, select it and choose select. Press OK. All right, now try turning on and off your relays to see if you're communicating correctly. All right, and my controller seems to be working fine. Uh, yours should be as well. If it's not, we have a troubleshooting video which should help you get up and running. All right, and that's the software portion of the Zigbee setup. Thanks for watching this video.